marginal propensity to consume. Suppose x represents total national income. If C of x is the amount of consumption and the national savings is S of x, then the x, which is the income, is the combination of the consumption and the savings. Next, we're going to find the derivative of the equation of the income equals the consumption plus the savings. The derivative of the x is 1. The derivative of the c is a c prime. The derivative of the s is a s prime. So we derive another function or the relationship of the rate of change of the consumption plus the rate of change of the savings equals 1. And the c prime of the x is called the marginal propensity to consume. The s prime is the marginal propensity to save. Therefore, when you rearrange them to find the marginal propensity to consume or solve for the c prime x, we can get the other side as 1 minus s prime of the x. For example, if the marginal propensity to save, which is s prime of x equals 0 0.02x, what is the marginal propensity to consume? If you do not recall the formula, you can set it up as 1 equals the c prime x plus the s prime x. And we are looking for the marginal propensity to consume, which is the c prime x. We just rearrange the expression, the term here, to get the c prime x equals 1 minus the s prime x. The problem gives s prime x as 0.02x. So this is 1 minus 0.02x. These two terms are not like term. We already get the answer in the form of 1 minus 0.02x as the marginal propensity to consume.